So if you want to work with multiple data validations and then want to make uh, validations easy, then you can use this tool called Qtools. It's a free extension for Microsoft Excel that you can download from extendoffice.com. It also has um, uh, two tools for Microsoft Word and Outlook specifically just like that but we are going to focus on the one for Excel today so I already downloaded this and I installed this out and once I do that inside of Excel you can see that there's a new tab called Q2 so I want to set a multiple data validation so I want to uh, create a cell area where I can just enter capital letters of text and uh, limit the character numbers over there so I'm going to type in name over here in capital letter and I do not want to uh, type in any small letters. I just want the field to accept capital letters right here. So I want to select the cell range till 20 and I want to use the Kutul magic right here. So you can see that once I install the plugin, it's, uh, it says Kutul. So you can simply go over here and then you can go to prevent typing. So I want to prevent typing certain characters. So I selected the cell. I'm going to go to prevent typing and I'm going to select prevent typing right here. And over here, you can see that I can only allow typing of these characters. I already typed in A uh, through Z here in capital letter. I want the formula to be case sensitive. I can prevent just the uh, special characters or prevent type in special characters. But in my case, I just want to allow the capital letters. So I typed through A to Z and made it case sensitive. And I'm going to press OK. And you can see that uh, it says if there's a data validation, it'll actually remove it. Um, I do not have any, so I'm just going to press yes. So the range A2 to A20 has not been allowed to type in these characters only. So I'm going to press OK right here. So the, uh, that's another thing that I want to validate over here as well. I just want to allow uh, less than 10 characters and not more than 10. Or uh, ten, less uh, uh, ten or uh, ten characters are equal to ten characters. So I'm going to go into my data validation right here, and I'm going to go into my data validation, and you can see that this is the uh, formula it actually typed for me. So these are uh, what it actually did for me. So I do not have to type the uh, formula manually. So you can see that formulas might get quite com complicated. So after n uh, in the big bracket, I can actually add another validation data over here. Uh, just by adding a comma over there so right after the bracket i want to add this so i want the length of the character to be less than or equal to tell so i'm going to add, add in length as my formula right here open bracket select the cell range that is a2 to a20 close the bracket and i'm going to press equals and that equal, less than or equals less than or equals 10 and comma so is number is the formula used to validate the letters and uh, len is the formula to validate the number of letters so i'm going to press ok and you can see that it has been applied so if i were to press a b c d it'll actually accept the data as you can see but if i were to press a1 it actually won't accept because these are the only characters that is allowed to be typed but i can add in around 10 letters as you can see 10 characters a b c d e f g h um i all right so you can see that i actually have a b c d e f g h a all right whatever a b c d e a b c d e 10 characters that is but if i were to add in 11 characters here for example you can see that it does not allow me to type it because uh, it has not it uh, only allows uh, less than 10 characters as we added in in the formula so you can see that uh, the in the error it does not so because i haven't added in any custom errors uh, so you can actually go here and change that out over here in the input message uh, er error alert you can see that this has been typed for me um, allow uh, allow to type um, only type these characters in or something and so forth and you can add uh, just below 10 characters so you can add in the error message over here press ok and then type it type the letters in and you can see that the um, error actually pops up you can you can actually do anything you want so you can see that i have multiple uh, validation now so i have to type in capital letters and i have to type it less than uh, 10 
uh, characters right here. So that is how you can do multiple validations with the help of Kutos inside of Microsoft uh, Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.